Hello guys, and welcome to another NASCAR Diecast review. Today's review is going to be on the 2016 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Uh, Batman vs. Superman Elite paint scheme. First, let's get onto the box. You get Elite. This isn't my favorite box in the world, but it will do. Because it's just a box. You have Elite. Got the window, which I am not a fan of, but uh, that's beside the point. You have Elite right here. Oh, I just screwed up my table. You have a racetrack in the background, if you can see it. You have 16, RCCA, 25th anniversary. And then you have Elite, because details matter, which is funny, coming from Lionel. And pause it right there if you want to read it. Elite. There were 688 made. And you have the Elite logo. And you're back to the front. Let's get onto the car. The car is a great paint scheme. Too bad the movie wasn't that great. I wasn't a fan of it. But it's still a good paint scheme, so it doesn't matter. So this is the Elite version, so it's got the extra detail. So let's get on to the let's go on to the 360 of the car. You have the nose, you have the blue hints popping through. I think that's a nice touch. It makes it look like the Batmobile, like with the lights underneath it. Gives it a nice touch. You have the, um, the 88. It's got, like, um, pattern on it. Looks pretty good. I like it. You have the top. You have the cape going down. Then you have the back and the deck lid. And you have Nationwide on this side. Let's go on to sponsors. So the sponsor for the car is the Batman vs. Superman movie. And Nationwide. You have the Chevrolet SS. Again, the blue hits coming out. They look really good. I'm glad they did it that way. You have Nationwide, Mountain Dew, Exalta, Valvoline, Tax Slayer. On the hood, I mean, yeah, on the, on the roof, you have nationwide. Ah, I can't, I can't talk today. I've, I've been up for a long, long time. I'm really tired. Nationwide is on your side. Batman vs Superman den number forty-five, which is pretty low for this, because there were almost seven hundred made. You have the other side of the car, and we're back to the front. So. We'll get, we'll get on to the engine detail of the Elite and what makes the Elite so special. Kind of. They used to be special, not really anymore. So this was my first Elite. And the um, the tethers only made it go up to like this far. And that really annoyed me because I paid a lot of money for this. So I cut the tethers off and it does that. You can actually, and it goes even higher. You can actually see inside the engine. Not the best, but not horrible. So, if you cut your tethers off, it doesn't, it looks like an ARC if you have the hood open. But the hinges are still there, and it opens a lot farther so you can actually see the engine. And then one, then you have a Chevy, Nationwide, Exalta, Mountain Dew, Tax Slayer, Wix. One more look at the engine, if you would like to see that. Then we get to this side. My favorite part about the Elites, or used to be favorite part, because they got rid of it in 2018, was the removable flap. This was my favorite thing ever. I, like, I didn't even know they did this, and I got my first Elite, and I found out, and... Oh man, I love this car even more because the window neck come down. It's such a subtle thing, but it really just makes it feel more high quality. And the roof flaps. Never. Oh, nice. Okay, we'll discuss that later. Oh, it fell out again. What in the world? Okay, so the the. Roof flaps have tethers on them. Nope, nope. Dang it. 
There we go. They got tethers on them. Which is a nice touch. Please don't fall. Okay. So, that looks more realistic. You have your optional um, antennas that you can put in if you want. If you don't, you don't have to. But this is a quick way to tell if something's elite or not. And they look pretty nice. Let's go on the back of the car. You have... I cut the hinges off this. I cut the uh, tethers off this too because my these tethers down here were really, really, really short and only allowed the trunk to open like that much. So I cut them off. People may not like that, but it just allowed me to open it up more and actually see the elite detail that they brag about so much. It still doesn't really open that far. You can barely see the 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 fuel cell. And then the front suspension works. Actually pretty good on the elites, I was surprised. And then the back too. Flip it over. You have all the engine detail. Oh, I'm kind of blocking it. There you go. It's more open on the bottom than the ARCs. Which I like. There we go. Okay, so if you want to get this car, I would get it. They're actually pretty cheap now because they made way too many of them and not a lot of people bought them. Well, a lot of people bought them, but they just made way too many. So if you want to get it, I, I would get it. Maybe get the Elite version if you can find it for cheap. I got this for $30 off the Lionel website. It was in the clearance thing. And then an extra 20% off from a coupon I had so I don't remember what the total was but it was it was pretty cheap for an elite so I, I just got the elite instead of the instead of the ARC and I was happy until I got the older elites and saw how nice those were and then I realized that this isn't really up to par anymore but yeah uh, I would get the car it's a it's a really nice paint scheme the uh, movie isn't that great, but that's beside the point. It doesn't really matter. So, thank you for watching. This has been a review of the 2016 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Batman, Batman vs. Superman Elite. Thank you for watching.